Okay, this is Dr. Keller, and I'm here with Kelly Cheeseman today, and she's doing the outcomes assessments that we all need to do. And I asked her to walk us through this step by step because I know coming in from an outside university, I really didn't know how to do this. Some of you may already know how to do it, but we want to make sure we're all doing it the same way. So the video would be the best way to do it. So I'll let Kelly take over and I'm just going to run the controls here. Okay, so the first thing you want to do um, is just know that you, you will be given all of this information um, when you go at the beginning of each semester, you'll be sent files with the assignment, the rubric, and the template. So once you've completed the, the course, you'll want to report this data. So this video is going to walk you through how to put together this report. Um, so you'll go, you'll pull up your template, and this is the document that you're going to send to me after you're done. Um, and the first thing you want to do is, is fill in the top information. And so for the, for the purposes of this one, we're looking at 6630. Right. Yeah. And so you want to make sure you have the right one, first mm -hmm. of all, that I've sent through, you've sent you the right one. Yes. And then... So you'll enter your block um, or term. So this one was block two. You'll enter your CRN number. You put ball here. Um, you can. You don't have to because it's all collected in each semester. Okay. So the CRN is 13960. And then your campus, you guys are all online, so it'll be online and the method is online. Okay, and then you'll go into your assignment um, in your, your course. Yeah, so your program, all of the students are gonna be AFI majors, so you can fill that in right at the beginning. Um, so here's what I'm going to do, or at least that's my plan. What I'm going to do for myself is I'm going to take this and copy it. Did I just copy it? I think it's moving in there. And then just put it all the way down. How many students do they need? How many do they have in the course? 22 in this course. Okay, so for this purposes of this course, oh, I thought that was a good idea. No, it's not. Oh, why does it have something on the here? Oh, they're probably already preloaded, aren't they? No. No? Mm -hmm. All right, so let me copy. And I should be able to go 22. Yes. Okay, so I should be able to go down 22 and put that in all there the way go. down. Okay. Because that'll be the same for all of them, right? Right. So you're going to go into your Blackboard course. And we already pulled up the assignment um, and hid the... Uh, the student's name, so you're going to pull up the rubric that you used to grade the assignment. So, yep, click on the rubric. I think I already had it up, actually. Hang on one second, I think that's it. Oh, there, it. You go. there we go. So, you're going to see what scores you gave to each dimension. So, this one, um, this OA is looking at discipline inquiry, so we're taking the first three dimensions. So, you're going to take the th first three dimensions the 18.5, 16.5, and then the 18.5, and you're going to input it into your Excel file. So here we'll say 18.5, yeah. and the next one was 16.5. Oops. I'll see if they can see that I make mistakes too. And then 18.5. Yeah. Okay, now here's what I want to know is, um, I didn't do that one right, I can see from over here. It's Oops. So when they went in there, here's a question I have, mm -hmm. um, and they pulled that information up. Um, your instructions tell them which ones to pull. Like you'll just have to match up the the columns on the left, so your rubric dimensions, to the columns that are in Excel. Okay, so they don't necessarily need to know. So I'm trying to make sure they are all going to make the same interpretation mm -hmm. in there because each one's got a different course. Yes. So in the, for the purposes of that, I want to make sure we're really clear. So when they pull this up and they know that it's these top three yep. courses, how do they know that from the names up here? How they're they're exact. Okay. So it's the exact column. Exact, exact or, column. Yeah. Okay. So 
So that was entering the first student, and so you'll just go through that for each student um, and then submit the file. Now, if there's a student who didn't do a particular assignment, you just don't enter any data for that person. Okay, so if they have, like the first one, I believe, when we opened this up, yes. did not, and I don't want to open it and expose the student's yep. name. So, for instance, so you basically just ignore that. You ignore it. Yep. Okay, so even though they had 22 students, they might report less. Yes. So they might have less, but they don't need to report it with zeros in there. No. Okay, so if there's if you have a student that didn't report and you had 22, then you would end up with 21. Yes. Correct. Okay. And then what? Um, and then, so for the fall, um, you're going to email me this Excel file. Moving forward, you're going to send it through a WUFU link, which is in the email that was sent out. Okay, so all they have to do is look at the email, mm -hmm. determine which assignments that they're supposed to be pulling, yep. and then go from there. And yes. if they have any questions, can they reach out to yes, you? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And if she gets me trained eventually, you'll be able to reach out to me. <laughs> but for right now, Kelly's yes. the expert on yeah. it. So, um, can you think of anything else that you want to share with them? Anything um, that you see people do that you don't want them to do? The main thing is the missing data. So if a student does not submit the assignment, you just do not enter data. Because um, that will cause you a problem. Yes, because you don't want them to report as zeros. Right. Okay. Um, other than that, that's that's the main issue that I deal so with. So when do you need them to get this back to you? So fall, if you can get it to me as soon as possible. I believe I said the end of next week as a due date, because um, I need to get these analyzed as soon as possible. The spring data will be due the day final grades are due for spring, so that I believe is May 13th. Right. And you can only do this data if the rubrics rolled out in your course. So yes. let's talk about that for a minute, because some of them did not roll out, and I was new here and I explained to Kelly um, I didn't catch in one of my courses. So that data is not valuable for her right now. Right. So it's imperative if your rubrics do not roll out that you let me know immediately or that you get a hold of um, online Blackboard. Now, additionally, because this is a new course, a new program, we're updating and refreshing the course. And so those rubrics are going to be a little bit different after your course is refreshed, but it's not refreshed right now. So your rubric should be the ones that were still in there that originally rolled out with each one. And if you didn't see one rolling out, that's something else. I need you to get a hold of me right away and let me know. I think that's it. Think that's it. So. All right. So I thought a recording would make this a little bit easier for everybody. I told Kelly um, she hasn't had responses, and I said, well, it's probably because everybody's coming in from an outside university, and I know at FSU. This was done automated, and so I had never actually pulled outcome assessments before, and so this was a, um, we thought it would be a great way to try to minimize the confusion and give you a practical application for it. So, and hopefully it's a short video if I get back in there and cut it. Yep, it's only 819. So thank you everybody. I appreciate the work you're doing. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for all you do. Thank you.